Nerd, and I'm a black nerd with a review for you, but it reviews. Girl Meets World. This is the follow-up series to Boy Meets World that's been highly publicized. It doesn't actually air until June, but on Watch Disney, which is like their Disney online channel, they actually premiered the pilot early, so I got to watch it, and I'm gonna review it for you. I'm gonna tell you the good, I'm gonna tell you the bad, I'm gonna tell you the nerdy. Plot of Girl Meets World. It's Boy Meets World, but with girls. Best synopsis ever. First, the good. The two lead girls in this show are awesome. I was really, really concerned because when you get those Disney Channel kids doing that Disney Channel acting, you get a little nervous, but these girls have found that perfect blend. They don't overact. They perfectly have the mannerisms of the new generations, Corey and Sean. So whoever did the casting for those two, very, very good job. And of course, seeing Corey and Topanga back, ah, oh, in memories. It's like they were married this whole time. So in Boy Meets World, Mr. Feedy was Corey's next door neighbor, who was also his teacher. In this version, Riley is Corey's daughter, and he's the teacher of her class. Womp, womp, womp. And this pilot episode is definitely the passing the baton. A lot of talk in this episode about it's your world and you've lived your world through me, but now it's time for you to experience the world on your own. And it's basically Corey being like, look, you know, Boy Meets World was my thing, and now you here, and I'm an adult, so we're gonna just give this to you. Have fun. And in typical Boy Meets World fashion, Girl Meets World gets some of those heart-wrenching moments. There's a point when Corey is talking to Maya, Riley's friend, about, hey, you know, why aren't you doing your homework? And she drops a bombshell, and you're just like, D -d dang, ah, all oh, the feels. Now for the bad. If this pilot episode is any indication, Girl Meets World is gonna suffer from a little bit of an identity crisis. Here Here's the problem. This is a show that's based on a show that used to be on ABC's TGIF lineup, which was a show that was, of course, kids watched it, but it was a show that was made for everyone. Everyone could watch it, even though kids might enjoy it a little bit more because it relates to them. Disney Channel makes a lot of shows for kids. Like, there's no even concept of a parent might watch it or an adult might watch it. There's moments of this show where I'm like, oh yeah, this is totally like Boy Meets World. I'm feeling it, I'm digging it. And then there's be these jokes that they'll throw in and these laugh tracks will be thrown in and you're like, oh gosh. Here's that Disney Channel way of making sitcoms again. The laugh track is especially weird because I know that Boy Meets World had a laugh track, but this one, it almost feels like the laugh track is like background music. There's moments when they have a laugh track behind it and you're just like, I don't even know a joke happened there, okay? But, ah. And in typical Disney fashion, you have the girl and the best friend and the guy who's a friend that's probably gonna become a boyfriend to Riley. They like set him up right off the bat. This is the first episode. Let her go through a few boys. I mean, that sounds dirty, but you know what I'm saying? Like, why are we already setting up the, oh, potential potential boyfriend right the first episode. And then there's this character, Farkle, who's pretty much Minkus mixed with Urkel, and he's like the guy that has a crush on both Riley and Maya, and he's like the weird kid, and he uses Farkle as his catchphrase. All right, there it is. There's that Disney Channel overacting territory all over again. What I would love to see with this show is that it kind of harkens back almost to like the Lizzie McGuire, even Stevens, famous Jet Jackson phase, where it was just like, yeah, these are shows that were made for this audience, but at the same time, there's a little bit of heart to it, there's a little bit of story to it, and there's a little bit of something that everyone can enjoy. This can't be your typical silly kitty Disney Channel show because if you're trying to get the people who have a nostalgia for Boy Meets World to watch this as well as a new generation, you gotta have to do things that cater to both audiences. In most cases, it's there, but it's just, I, just, I can see it. I can see the mouse coming in going, oh, this needs more silly time, and you just wanna be like, look mouse, let them do their thing, all right? Let Michael Jacobs do his thing. He's got a track record, all right? He's good. Trust him. If you want some silly time, go remake dinosaurs or something. Enough of the nerdy. Jack A is in this for some reason. She plays like a guest star character, but I hope she like sticks around. She's like this woman that's on the subway just spouting out advice. I squeal when I saw Jack A. I, I love me some Jack A, man. I, I was hoping that T and Tamara would show up or, or Marla Gibbs. <laughs> Mary. And this television show even had like a Marvel Cinematic Universe moment. Make sure you stay to the very, very end. You might see somebody you remember. If you remember Boy Meets World, what? Cameos already? I'm liking how this is going. Girl Meets World is cute. It's adorable. It's precious. I just hope that it gets that Michael Jacobs touch and not that Disney Channel silly time touch. I don't want Riley and Maya starting a band and start singing and all that nonsense that Disney Channel likes to do sometimes. Let this be the evolution of Disney Channel. Have it silly time shows and also have some shows that they can put, you know, later on in the day or in the early evening that can almost feel like that TGIF type of show. Good Luck Charlie, I thought was a really good example of a show that totally a show I could have seen being on ABC if TGIF still existed. And I think that Disney Channel is the perfect place right now to try to create new shows like that. Sort of the cleaner uh, gateway drug to ABC Family where you get all that plus teen pregnancy. It's amazing how Disney Channel is like, we're sweet, we're 
kind and nothing's ever wrong. And then you go to ABC Family and it's like, teenagers are pregnant, people are dying, liars are pretty. If you have seen Girl Meets World, let me know what you think of it and what show should they bring back next? What should be the next sequel series that we should see? Special thanks to Aaron Coney who had the digital cable provider that allowed me to watch this early. He also did a review of this on his blog, so make sure you check that out. Thumbs up this video and if you're new here, tickle that subscribe button. I make new nerdy videos all week, every week. If you ever want a grown man to review a Disney Channel show for you, then you come to the right place. <laughs> God, what has happened to me? I need to go see a rated R movie or something. I love you like a play cousin. I'm 95,000. Chain chomp. Yomp.